The next project we're working on is trying to make a smart collar to train Sweet Pea with. We really want a collar like Doug's from Up. Beak! Hi there. <gasps> we're going to try to build that collar with the Arduino BLE Sense since this is really low powered and it's the right form factor for a, a small collar. We're just going to focus on accelerometer data fed into a TensorFlow model to perform gesture recognition. So we're breaking the task down to just recognizing her state of activity. Without on-device storage and because of a spotty BLE connection, this isn't going to be the best device for us to get a bunch of training samples on. So we're passing to a prototype based in the Pi Zero. Let's go check out the prototype. It's a good idea to gather as much information about your deployment environment when developing an HAI device. So we added a few environmental sensors, a camera to document the experiment, and gather images so we can train a vision model. We also added an LED light as an indicator and a pulse sensor to monitor sweepy state. We use a PS3 controller connected via Bluetooth to the Pi to label different sweepy movements. We also use a lithium ion battery pack to keep the prototype powered on the go. A simple Python script gathers lots of sensor data and labels a reading with a button when pressed. The LED lights up with different colors for each button so we can see when we label the motion. All the samples will be written to file on the device. Sweepy has a sweater with a roomy hoodie, so we tuck the prototype device into it. There was enough room to place a battery as well. Let's take it around town. So we're going to use the PS3 controller to annotate the data points that we're writing to file when she's performing an action that we want to track, like sniffing. Or sitting. Stay tuned for part two next week where we'll get the data, train a model, and deploy on the Arduino.